kaboom we are back with another video we're going to be going over two stocks i'm looking to buy heavy i already own shares i'm looking to buy more shares i'm looking to do big call options also shorter term plays maybe like week plays month plays and there's different categories that i'm looking to play all these stocks to pay for that corvette i'm actually about to sell that corvette by the way but just just a good title and also how it can pay for corvette especially if played right because these two stocks are very conglomerate type of companies they're down over 50 percent from their highs which is something you want to be looking out for right you want to be looking at these opportunities that are happening right now and these are two stocks i'm looking to get and they might even start pushing up to my top one and top two stocks so we're going to go over them the first one is nike ticker symbol nke okay it could pay for the corvette and it's also going to pay for another car that i get probably next year I'm selling one of my cars. I'm about to sell the Corvette. I have fun with it. It was cool. Moving on, right? But NKE is a Nike, okay? Nike is a conglomerate. What does that mean? Nike owns a lot of things, and Nike is not going nowhere. So I'm going to clear all these levels off. Actually, let me put the ticker somewhere back up there. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button, subscribing if you're new. Let's get the video over 100 likes within five hours. That's all I ask. I'm going to start posting these different type of contents and kind of getting real serious and narrowed down on how we can really win big on these markets, and this is what I will be doing, okay? None of this financial advice, all education, purpose, all you don't trade these here in this video. Now, Nike had a high of about 179 in November 2021. It has been bearish over three years. So by November 2024, it will be technically three years Nike has been bearish. Love it. Okay. So if we put our level, let's take this off. And we're going to go a little bit in depth. I'm going to keep making videos on these, by the way. So I'll be more in depth on Nike on this one. I'll still tell you what the second one is and we'll go over it. But I'm going to keep posting these videos probably once a week. And then I'll go heavier on the second one, right? We'll go back and forth as these plays form. And you don't want to miss it. Make sure you join the team, by the way. First in the description. Prices are low right now. They will be going up pretty soon. But it made a high of 179 And currently... As I'm making a video, Nike price is right around $80. So it's down about 55% from its all-time highs. And it is still bearish, right? So it's still going down. I haven't missed the boat yet. It's, it hasn't even started to go back up yet, right? It has still been bearish. So that is a good sign. That's the first thing. Hasn't been bearish over three years, down over 55%, which is good. That is what we want. Now, I'm going to give you guys some levels I'm looking out for, shorter term, longer term, where I'm looking to buy more, already bought, where we bought, and so forth, the different types of plays. But you have to know what Nike really is, okay? So Nike is a conglomerate, like I said. They own Air Force One. They own Air Jordan, Air Max, all the Nike brands, Nike Golf, Nike Pro, all that. They also own bigger names, if I go into it, right here. They own Converse. They own the Jordan brand. They actually created the Jordan brand for Michael Jordan. It was like a spinoff, but they actually created it for him. But that was a Jordan brand. They own all that. They own Hurley, by the way. They own Nike Golf and all that, right? So they are conglomerate and they're not going nowhere. So then the second thing is their revenue. It goes up every year. Their revenue, this is in the millions, right? It was about 13,000 in the millions. Now we're about 51,000 in the millions and their revenue usually goes up. That is good. They're a profitable company. Revenue's going up. They're getting bigger, right? I know they've still been bearish, but at least they're still making some profits. Now I'm going to go deeper into these thoughts, like I said, but this is just, just kind of get your eyes start watching out for what I'm looking at, right? They make most of their money, by the way, from footwear and they make it most from in North America. Okay. So footwear and North America, but I just kind of wanted to go over that. And by the way, this used to be their logos. They used to be called blue ribbon sports back in 1964, 1971. And then they start calling Nike at 1971 and they kind of changed the logo on and on and literally when you see this stripe right here you know it's nike very good branding okay and also um where was it i was supposed to show you well they showed um the shareholders and phil knight is the biggest personal shareholder he owns about 17 percent of nike shares and phil knight is actually the co-founder and chairman of nike okay so that's good you want to see the co-founder ceo you want to see them owning a whole lot of shares of that bad boy so that produces more confidence in it okay so let's go ahead and go over um the nike stock first and then we'll talk about the second one so nike stock down over 55 percent. i already bought shares okay i bought shares in here i bought shares after the drop and I haven't bought shares just yet. I don't know the exact average, but whenever you join the team, I'll let y'all know what that average is, okay? Now, shorter term levels on Nike. 
shorter term. So like I said, there's a lot of different plays that I want to do with Nike, but the shorter term that are a little bit decent. Um, first, we have a resistance level at about 84.60. Because like I said, I'm looking to play in multiple ways to accumulate that big profit. And I'm pretty much, um, Corvette will be paid for easily, but I'm pretty much putting that profit back to long-term shares as long as it's staying at these lower prices. So first resistance level is 84.60. And the, so that's the resistance level. And the support level below us is right around $77. So these are your shorter term levels, right? Your current levels as prices moving in these ranges right here. That's what you would be watching out for. So basically, if Nike starts to break up here, I'll probably get shorter term calls to trade up to around the 90s. That's a shorter term type of profit. If Nike breaks the support, I'll probably get shorter term puts to trade down to the low 70s. That's a shorter term profit. That's what these are for. Now, when am I looking to buy more long term shares? If we break this resistance level, I'm buying more, buying more long term shares. So one, buying more shares if 84 breaks, okay? And then two, buying more. This is when I'm buying more shares for my long-term holding because on my long-term, I don't want to sell any of it. By the way, yeah, I don't want to sell any of my long-term shares minimum till we get back up to about 150, okay? And where price is now, that's close to 100% gain minimum. That's where I want to sell it, right around 150 and higher. I'll hold it until it gets there. Um... But yeah, so that's why I'm looking to hold it. So buying more shares. Let's fix this. Buy more shares if price breaks. So the support's around 77. If price breaks around, yeah, so basically if it breaks that support, I got to buy some more shares. So basically at $77, if that breaks, I'm buying more shares. So let me bring this lower, by the way. Because right now, let's see. There you go. So if price, buy more shares if 84 breaks up here. Buy more shares if price breaks 77. So pretty much whenever these break, I'm buying more shares. I want to accumulate a very big position and I just don't want to wait for it. I'd rather just start buying now while we're about 55% down to a lower side. So these are shorter term levels, but that's also where I'm going to buy more shares here. I'm going to buy more shares here. I'm going to get shorter term call options here. I'm going to get shorter term put options here. Now, another big play. So we got out the long buys, the shorter term plays. Now we're on a third one, which is leap call options, right? Meaning I want to buy close to the bottom. Don't, it's not there yet, but I want to buy close to the bottom and I want to hold some big leap contracts, probably dated of about 2026, probably minimum above 110 to 120, because once it gets there, that contract will probably be over 100, maybe close to 200 percent gains. It would do very fast profit. We don't have to hold to that like 150 that I will with shares to get 100 percent gain. It's going to do over probably 200 percent by the time it gets to like $100, right? So I'm looking to accumulate a lot in that. I might start accumulating some leaps in here. If it drops, I'll accumulate some leaps in here. I haven't done that yet. They are getting closer to earnings. They haven't had their earnings yet, which is what I'm waiting for also. The last time they had earnings, they had this very big drop. Their last earnings was about July. Y'all know how a lot of stocks, they had their earnings. Nike hasn't had their earnings yet. So they have their earnings at the end of September. So that's also something I'm being patient on and waiting for, okay? But this is the first part of Nike. Stay tuned. I'm going to start posting these videos. I just put me in the thumbnail with the car. So you click on it and you get this good information. Y'all know I give y'all A1 levels, stocks that I'm focusing on. This is a stock I'm looking to build very heavy on and build up to the top one or two position in the loan account. Okay. And it also helps they pay a little dividend too, but that's just a bonus. Okay. So that's Nike. First one, bada bing, bada boom. Make sure you guys smash the like button, join the team, Elite 74. Elite year 740, you get two months free when you sign up for the year. Lifetime memberships, $15.99. Also comes with personal training. You just pay once forever. You never pay again. Then personal training is $9.65 by itself. Um, you can pay personal training, elite year or lifetime monthly if you use Afterpay. And then any questions, email me, willnowless770.com. Make sure you do that pronto, okay? Um, yeah. Second stock is Disney. Walt Disney, ticker symbol D-I. Yes, I'll type it out right here. This is a second stock I'm looking to buy heavy on to pay for that vet, which I am about to sell, by the way. And I'm about to get something else probably like in like seven months or so. Um, but yeah, so Disney, let's zoom out real quick. Then we'll go over the details. 
Disney made a high, kind of the same thing like Nike. It's been bearish ever since about 2021. Nike's been bearish about November 2021. Disney's been bearish about March 2021. So with that being said, they just really haven't shown signs of wanting to go up. And previously, very consistent up movements, right? You look at Nike, very consistent up movements. Companies that's been here since 1980s, 1990s, 1980s, 1990s, it's been proving itself very much, right? The last time Disney had that big crash, it crashed over 67%, right? From that bottom, it even crashed here over 55%. Scary times to buy, scary times to buy. But look at the recovery that it had over a thousand percent. So just be mindful of that. These are the times that I like to got to build in positions. I won't say they're easy plays and they're not guaranteed, but buying a company like this at its lows that it's been at over it came back to lows of like 2020. So it erased four years of profits of the share price and it's coming back down. So from the all time high to now, right, we're down over 56 percent. So it's down almost the same as Nike. OK, that's the first thing. And what am I minimum? I'm looking to take profit at Well, why I'm buying the long term shares minimum. The all time high was 200 minimum for me to sell any shares has to be above 160. That's 100 percent gain from where shares is priced now, right? Close to it. Same thing as Nike, minimum 100% gain. So say I put 10 grand, looking to make 10 grand, 50 grand, looking to make 50 grand, 100 grand, looking to make 100 grand, which will pay for a vet easily just by holding one stock, right? So that's the first thing where I'm looking to hold. Now, let's go over the company. But like I said, Disney, I'll go more over in the second video that I make on Nike and Disney. I probably post this video about once a week, but we got to really start getting um, into some good stuff. So Disney owns ABC. They own 80% of ESPN. They own Touchstone Pictures. Don't know what that is. They own Marvel. Everybody knows what Marvel is. Marvel not going nowhere. They own Lucas Films. They make good films. They own 50% of A&E. They own 50% of the History Channel. They own 50% of Lifetime. They own Pixar. They own Hollywood Records. They own Vice Media 10% and uh, Core Publishing. I think they were trying to break up um, Disney because they kind of got a little too big. So, We'll see, right? And some just recognizable brands and films that you know that they own. Star Wars, of course, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but not the X-Men yet. Um, but all the Marvel stuff, Disney stuff, Princesses, Princes, Cinderella, Frozen, Aladdin, Lion King, Chronicles of Narnia, Pirates of the Caribbean, Pixar films such as Toy Story, The Incredibles, Cars, Indiana Jones franchises, Grand's Anatomy, and other popular ABC shows, Winnie the Pooh franchise. They own a lot. OK, just to uh, keep it simple, they own a lot, brother, and they're not going nowhere. So I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it at these prices. So they have two resistance levels smaller, but I rather look at this bigger one. I would say right around ninety one thirty. So ninety one thirty. Right. Because as as I make these updates about once a week, I want to give you all their current resistance and current support levels because I'm looking to play shorter term plays while I'm looking to play the long term shares while I'm looking to play the long um, option plays as well. 9130, right? Right on Disney. And I hope uh, I hope you a lot of you guys watch it so your eyes can start getting on Disney and Nike. You don't have to follow me. I'm just letting you guys know what I'm doing. Uh, again, another fan advice, all the kids personally don't trade these series video. You will lose money. I'm just on guy YouTube telling you what I'm doing. But um yeah. So 9130 resistance level, right? And support is actually all the way down here at about $86 even. So now if Disney breaks the support, I'm going to get put options, right? Shorter term. And I'm going to play it to the lower side round at the 80 mark. So this is my shorter term play. If it breaks support, put options, plan it to the 80, I'll profit off that. And the profit that I make off those put options will just go back to buying more shares. Okay. Now, if it breaks the 9130 area, I'll probably get shorter term call options to trade up to around 96. The profit I make go back to long term shares. Now, I already have long term shares at Disney. Okay. I don't remember the averages. I'll let y'all know whenever you join the team. Don't forget, make sure you join first in the description. But um, I'm looking to buy more. When am I looking to buy more? Either when this support breaks so, or when that resistance breaks. Same thing as Nike. I keep it very simple. It's not too hard. Um, buying more if 91.30 breaks. And remember, minimum where I'm looking to sell the long-term shares, minimum 160, over 100% gain, minimum, okay? And uh, and whenever I do the big call option, the leap, it's going to do well over 100%. That's probably going to be 300, 400%. So probably each stock will make around 300-ish percent averaged out, okay? 
that's that's about 600 percent total just by holding two socks getting them at good prices and so forth but um yeah hold up so what was i typing so buying more if 91.3 breaks which is the resistance level then buying more and this for long-term shares by the way buying more if 86 breaks right so that's when i buy more long buy more let me just put long shares so it's not confusing more and more long shares brother all right so what we could do is let's do this there you go right so resistance breaks buy more long-term shares 86 buy more long-term shares is down over 55 percent and getting shares around 90 i believe is not a bad price for me right i don't mind that um, I'm actually hoping Disney continues crashing so I can get it at lower pricing, if I'm being honest. Um, and also, we already played a leap on Disney, by the way. We got leap calls on Disney in this range, and we took our profit about a couple days before that. We sold it right here. You can ask the team. I showed y'all the play plenty of times. We got over 220% gains off that leap, right? And the stock price only moved about... Oh, hold up. Wrong tool. The stock price moved about... 44% and that contract did over 220% gains. So we already did one leap. I'm looking to buy it again and Disney hasn't even hit the target that I really wanted at, right? And guess what price of Disney is? Back to where we got the last leap at. So you want to make sure on the team to get that. That did over 220%. So whatever you put in, it doubled and a half, right? Very, very pretty easy play too. All we had to do is just buy at the right time and hold it until we felt like it was going to be bearishness and that we sold it and it crashed back down. Now we're just going to play it again, right? So they also have earnings. They already had earnings, by the way, in the beginning of August, but they have around around November. Bigger names like this, I like to know when they have earnings so I can kind of ease up on buying shares just in case they crash. I can get it at cheaper pricing. Uh, but yeah, so leaps, I'm planning to get leaps somewhere in this area. I'm just trying to see when do we build support on Disney. We haven't built that yet. Every drop, it tried to build it, it just broke. Tried to build it here, broke. Tried to build it, broke. Tried to build it, and it seems like we're coming back down to break that again. That's why that $86 level is important, right? So, you know, the shorter term plays I'm looking at when I'm looking to buy more long term shares, and also when I'm looking to get the leap, also, which is the big call option play that I'm looking to hold. I think the last time we had to hold, we, we bought it like around October and we sold it in March. So November, December, January, February, March. We, we Oh, only five months, and we got 220% gains, right? Just off one play alone. So that's what I'm looking at for Disney. Like I said, I'll keep updating you guys on these two, probably like a video a week. I'll post about these two more in depth, how they make their money, who's running it, all that good stuff, where they make their money from, how much they make, all that good stuff, right? And we'll go over it. Just make sure you guys don't forget to join the team. First in description. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Let me know if you enjoyed it in the comment section down below. Maybe I can go in depth on other stocks that I'm looking at as well. But always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or here in the video. Catch you guys on the next one.